Hello friends, we have here the HP LaserJet Pro MW15 printer. The toner is running low so we have to check what number cartridge it uses so that we can look for the replacement. So I look for a toner number 44A. And I started calling several local suppliers but unluckily they told me that they don't carry this kind of toner number. They just advised me to search to the internet what toner number my printer uses. Having that idea, so I tried to search it on the web. Upon searching online, the HP website tells me that it uses toner cartridge number 48A. So we decided to buy the toner and try to install it. Normally, after closing the cover, the error indicator light should stop blinking. But in my case, it keeps on blinking and it seems like it did not detect the newly installed cartridge. Now we have to open the printer software just to check what is the status of our newly installed cartridge. As you can see on the device status, it says incompatible black cartridge and below it says order 44A. This toner can order only online and I'm afraid that the price is more uh, expensive than the price of the toner. So I was thinking to find other way online if uh, somebody has a solution on it. Let's just use this keyword, toner number 48 not detected. Incompatible toner due to region differences. This might happen to me because I purchased my printer online and I don't know where this uh, region came from. So maybe this was purchased or this was from different regions. So that's why I'm having this problem right now. Mr. Jackson here found the solution. So we just follow what he did, hoping that it can also solve our problem. The first thing we need to do is to factory reset our printer. So here we are looking for the instruction how to factory reset our printer. So here's the procedure, let's do it. Now let's press and hold the button number 4, next the power button and uh, together we will hold it up to 20 seconds. Three, two, one, zero, and we're done. Mm, nothing's happening. Now it's blinking. And the error warning was gone. Hopefully this solved our problem. Just to show you one more time that the toner installed is already 48A and it's now being detected. After closing the cover, the error light indicator will blink while detecting the toner and will stop after the toner has been detected. There you go. Just to make sure that the installation will go smoothly, I just reinstalled the printer driver. We will just follow the installation instruction. Now we will plug the printer USB cable to our computer. We will wait while our computer is detecting our printer. Let me just show you that while the USB cable is 
connected to our computer, I observed that the Wi-Fi indicator of our printer is automatically turned off. Now let's go back to our installation process. Just click next. Here I will choose our region, the Philippines. I think our setup is done. Now let's open the printer software. Let's check our device status. Here on our device status, supply summary shows that 48A toner is already installed and it even shows the approximate level of our toner cartridge. And finally, let us test the printing. Printing was successful. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that this video can help you too. Goodbye.